All right, Mallory wants to check out this package too, huh, Mallory? All right, so the new build, as we've mentioned on a previous video, is the EH185 by Gibson. It's a classic 1939-40 amp pre-war. I've got my first package from HoffmanAmps.com, which is a lot of the components, not all of them. Uh, it's going to take me a few months to get all the components together because this isn't cheap, but uh, we're going to go and open this up and we'll see what we got. Let's see, uh, see if we can see what's going on. Oh, look at this, a package inside of a package. It's, it's package section. All right, and then we'll open this package here. Doug does a great job of packaging. So this package has the first wave of parts, a lot of the basic board components. Um, that's the uh, parts list here. So let me just kind of try and pull this stuff out. I spent a little more on some of the basic components on this one. So, got a lot of shielded wire. This is to kind of, I, I really actually felt it did a great uh, service to the build to have shielded wire for most of the build because it allowed a much cleaner sound, removes all junk out of it. Also, here's my... Martin Max in the background. Yeah, Max is having a drink. Here is my, uh, all of my sockets and my lamp connection. I got a nice blue socket this time because I love the color blue. I will maybe break that up in a second. I've got some basic resistors and here are the um, higher level caps. I actually bought intentionally what are called orange drop caps and all higher quality caps across the board everywhere I could and this will be my board. So let's quickly open the board. Doug does these directly himself, so those are really cool. And as you can see, uh, Hoffman amplifiers, that's a very simple, straightforward setup here, and we'll, we'll build that out. But that's the, uh, that's the entire board, very small. This amp is a very straightforward one, not complicated. I'd say it's slightly a step above a, like what's called a Fender Champ, but it's a very simple board. And let's take also a quick peek at the caps. I didn't get that open very well. So the um, caps that are kind of coupling capacitors and whatnot are what's called orange drop. A little bit higher quality than the ones I've used in some of my other ones, so I'm pretty excited about using nicer quality for those. And then we've also got these Sprague Atom capacitors for the main 10 microfarad 500 volt DC um, filtering caps. So there's four of those on this amp. You've seen potentially the, uh, the layout uh, that I've shown, and those are pretty nice. And I also got some, uh, this is also Sprague. It's going to be kind of hard to see, but it's the same company as this one here, Sprague. These are the 50 volt, and they are 25 microfarad for the coupling or for the cathode bypass capacitors. So uh, that's that. Again, I've got uh, the, the general resistors here. I've got a couple of the uh, 10 watt, 150 ohm ones, and 250 ohm ones that are for the... Oh, I'm trying to remember off the circuit. Anyway, uh, they're for the the core main system. Uh, what are you? I'm just drawing a complete blank. Anyway, uh, but I've got uh, a couple more of the higher ones that are going to be for the power filtering uh, that are coming in from a different company of Mouser because they're not available through Doug. But uh, uh, the rest of the resistors are here, and we've got some of the smaller capacitors like this um, mica capacitor. So. At any rate, uh, that's the nice thing about this build, as you can see from this board, is it's a lot simpler. Hopefully, simplicity will add to a very cool amp, but we'll let you know how it goes as we progress. All right, look what I got. I got me a new tube tester. So, we're gonna quickly show you how it works. I also scored today, went out on a run to a, this is where I got it, it was at a, um, swap meet kind of ham radio fest and the new build I'm doing requires some special tubes. Here's some 6L6s and some 6SQ7s and I've got a rectifier as well. Some all, all new old stock. This rectifier is a 5U4GB 
And so I just realized I haven't tested that one too, but I just tested them out on this new uh, tester and they are all coming out. Okay, so it's set up and on. As you can see, the glowing light here. I plug this guy in. We, you know, you can't see the glowing of the heaters there, but if we kind of focus in on this. There you go. See the needles swinging right up into the good range. And I'm going to pull that guy. And I can test all of them. I've tested them all. They're good. Now I'm going to quickly actually do the rectifier, which I'm going to have to look up. So the 5U4 right here is supposed to be triangle and 44. So I set this to triangle. Set that to triangle and this to about 44. And then I'm going to need to pull this out of the box really quickly. Yeah. Okay. If you want to. Thank you. All right. It's up here. All right. So we will roll this around until it sinks in. And now if we come. Oh, look, it shot up to good already. Uh, we should be able to see. Oh, if we kind of. I don't know if you can see that from on the top. There's a nice glow going on up in the top. Okay, so I've got some more, the final few of the components here. We've got the 15K, there's two of these, I mean, sorry, 1.5K, 25 waters that will be part of the power rail to replace the um, speaker, field coil speaker. And then I've got the 20K, 20 watt resistor here as well that will be part of a load on the main power supply. Uh, and, uh, you know, from what I understand, that'll likely, the, the goal of that is to just lower the overall voltages that pass on down to the main amp itself. So almost done with all my components, I think is previous videos have shown. I need the 6N7 tube, the transformers, a couple of the random things like potentiometers and knobs. I think I have some of those in stock. If not, I'll be ordering those. Hopefully within the next month or so, we'll be able to finish, finish up all I need for the parts and we'll be able to start putting it together. So we'll keep you updated.